I bet my not so great body on a great hand, and damn was I right. Instead of dead, I was ahead for once, and ready to break the case of the century. Hey, Chief. Did you hear they served scotch with lead at Icarus? I didn't hear anything. Especially not from you. Because you weren't fucking there. I got some evidence. Ties to green. Rock solid. Fuck. First you sent me that bullshit report, and now you got evidence. You listen to me right now. You weren't there. Understand? And we're not talking now, either. In fact, I haven't spoken to you since the accident. Got it? Chief. Nope. That's it. I'm pulling you off this case. Steiner, out. Crusty old bastard. Why do you have to throw me off the case? There's an old saying, if you can't tell what's going on, it's about money. Steiner's a decent enough guy, but everyone in the city has a price. No doubt about it, this case smells worse than a two-week-old corpse in a storm drain. So many victims. Who's really behind it all? I don't know his name, but I can already tell what kind of man he is. Some depraved bastard, driven with gold, so disconnected from the rest of humanity, he thinks he can kill whoever he wants, whenever he feels like it. I try to stop thinking about it. Try to back away, shut it down, for one simple reason. Much as I like the idea of throwing myself into the city's abyss, if I do that, I'll drag other people down with me. And Sarah doesn't deserve that. This city has a disease. Something festering. Somewhere deep down. Underneath the routine of concrete and steel. Below the predatory grin of the neon lights, an infection has set in. It's like... Like everybody started having the same nightmares. Night after night, I know the dream. The one that makes me wake up drenched in sweat, hard about to crack open, scream locked in my throat. It's like somebody's chained a fucking boulder to me and shoved me off a cliff. any machine you bring him, as long as you're not picky about where the parts come from. The opera. You take away the singing and the shit or break in the middle, and all you got left is your average daytime soap. One of the most expensive restaurants in the city, and the tiniest fucking servings I've ever seen in my life. Oh, 
fucking disgusting. At night, they ventilate the ground floor plants. They say it's necessary. Necessary to dump even more pollution into the air. <laughs> Fuckers. Check engine again. Just had it in the shop last week. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll take it out of Zed's hide later. All this risk for a fucking piece of plastic. Can't even tell what it's for. Hmm. Moonshine or scotch? That is the question. Scottish heritage in my hands. Not much in the world makes sense to me anymore. But this, I understand. Mm. Sweeter than perfume. Exclusive special report. I wonder how Sarah is dealing with it. Hello? Hi, Sarah. Are you listening to the radio? It's the middle of the night. Are you drinking again? Relax. I'm on autopilot. You or the car? <sighs> Did you hear? Icarus is already in the news. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. They've been trumpeting it all over the media for an hour. Wait till they find out politicians have tried to lower the age of free body subscriptions again. People are gonna lose it. Maybe they'll finally get around to doing something about it. Hopefully. I mean, I know we can't get involved, but someone needs to tell them enough is enough. Do you know that I barely saved up for my first subscription? All the money was spent on living. If I had to pay a year earlier, I, I probably wouldn't be here. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thousands of people in the same boat every year. Not everyone makes it. And these fucks want to take away what little chance they have. Politicians aren't people. They're assholes. That's right. People's lives depend on these decisions. They're what decides if you end up in the freezer or not. Cool off. You're young. Oh, fuck off with that bullshit. I really can't understand it. I mean, they knew about the consequences. How can they just make decisions like that between drinks? Like human lives mean nothing? Are there any moral boundaries left? Boundaries still exist. We may not cross them, but some people are just evil and don't try to understand them. Why? Because they're bastards, and only other bastards can understand them. Okay, hang on, Mr. Pessimism. Did you just admit there are good people in the world, and they include us? We may not be the best, but yeah, until we screw up. <laughs> okay, that sounds more like you starting to worry. You know, I didn't think it was possible, but looks like we're on the same page. James, can I ask you something personal? Sure. Go ahead. Do you believe in life after death? The real one? And I thought I was the drunk one here. Well, apparently in the past, people used to ask stuff like that all the time. Because the average 
average lifespan was less than a hundred years. And now? Can we believe in anything beyond this? Okay. Wait a sec. Sure I do. Rachel believed it too. Fuck. I'm sorry. I forgot. I overstepped. Relax. Nothing happened. What if you could choose? The bank or death? Oh shit. Death. Maybe I'd meet Rachel in a better world. It's, um, it's a beautiful vision. I hope it's true. <laughs> Damn it. <clears throat> Bloody hell. James? James, what's going on? Issues? Yes. A whole list of shitty side effects. Those damn shivers. You know what's funny? I get the worst shakes in the toilet. Well, that might be where the last guy I like to shoot up. Part of that may be conditioning. Memory imprinted on the shell. When the body gets certain signals, it's trained to react, expecting the drugs. Okay, got it. You were the one who took notes at school. Do you take care of regular synchro tests? Are you taking ambrosia? Yeah, yeah. I'm an exemplary citizen. It's important that you do it. Thanks for caring. This is my fourth body. I can handle it. Some of the weirdest synchro issues you've heard of. I only know cases from police files, and they're not very amusing. I heard about a guy whose senses swapped places. Extreme synesthesia. He heard colors, tasted sounds, and reacted to smells like he could physically touch them. I know what synesthesia is. He was doing fine until he died in a garbage truck accident one morning. Well, did it hit him? No, he was standing next to it. The smells killed him. Well, as for your issues, how did the last Icarite transfer go? Why do you ask? Well, did it go smoothly, or did you feel something along the way? Apparently, we're unaware during the transfer, but... Damn, I remember the burning and itching all over my body. I thought I was going crazy. Seth, my partner, said something was weighing him down. He also knew a guy who felt like he was falling off a cliff every time he changed bodies. It's probably nothing unusual. Don't worry about that. Attention! in a drift prohibited zone. Hands up! What are you holding? Seriously? Don't you have anything better to do? I advise you to cooperate. What's your name? Look, I'm just an ordinary citizen who doesn't want any trouble. And what are you doing here at this hour? I'm cleaning up the city. Somebody has to, right? I have his data. James Kara, badge number 984. He's Department of Mortality, but not active in the system. This guy's full of shit. He's trying to work some kind of angle. One last time. What are you doing here in the middle of the night? Just picking up some extra cash on sick leave. Ventilator cleaning. Smells fucking horrible. Pays decent. Shit. James, there's a bolo from the car from Icarus. Hey, check that out. How'd your vehicle get those marks? Good question. Shit, he was already like this when I picked it up at the workshop. Got it from Zed. You guys know him? Old bastard gave me a voucher for a car wash. Good luck finding one open at this hour. Shit! Bolo for a 99 Bluebird! Hands in the air! Don't move! Tow the car right now!
Icarus, but they threw me off the case. Chief Steiner himself gave the- James, you stupid cunt! Will you just shut the fuck up? You're making it worse! We're placing you under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Attention all nearby units. Burglary in process and yours. Quarter of 11 to 58, or 117. Repeat, all nearby units. Staff, repeat. Burglary in progress. Quarter of 11 to 58, or 117. Ah, fuck this guy. Let's go. Did they take the bait? Bait? Did you call in a fake burglary? Uh-huh. It was all I could think of. Well, well. I'm impressed. Thanks for saving my ass. <sighs> One thing, though. Cunt? Seriously? <laughs> I panicked. Okay, James. I'm no expert, but the universe seems to be telling you to go home. You believe in science? I believe it's 2 a.m. and I'm getting sick of you. But wait. We still have to talk about the investigation. There are a few things that bother me. <sighs> well, keep it short. Green wasn't the suicidal type. Hmm. Look at the pieces of the puzzle carefully. There's something about everyone that doesn't fit, right? Exactly. I think I know what it is. It's paranoia. You know the saying the sleep of reason produces monsters? Put down the vodka and rest. It'll pass. Beg your pardon. It's not vodka. It's the Scottish heritage. Put the damn booze down. Even more so if it's evidence from Icarus. Ugh, evidence. Clue at most. Besides, it's all because of that damn body. Ugh, nonsense. Mental problems, along with identity, character, and memory, are written in Icarite. If you don't solve them, you'll transfer this whole mess to the next shell. You're right. Let's change the subject. Oh, please, James. Just leave me alone. Shit. Just wanted to talk a little, that's all. 